just one more item that money can buy. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. That was very nice. Now, uh, let's get back to work. A man who would tell you that the boundaries of the twilight zone are shrinking as miracles become commonplace. What the hell is wrong with Spence? Did you talk to him about this building lease? Sure, I gave him input. Why? Look, they want three floors, three high floors. And always ask you Tom, for Tom, it. I know. I said exactly the same thing. I told him he's practically giving the store away. Now, about last night. Yeah? My compliments to your surgeon. Hey. Hey, guy. Welcome back. Place hasn't been the same without our killer shark. Yeah, I noticed that. 60,000 feet at two bucks a foot. We can get uh, at least two and a half for that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, that's a first. Tom Bennett loosens his tie. Tom, are you sure you're feeling okay? If you can show me where we can hit them up for some more money. It's easy. How is it easy? You just up the price to two and a half per foot and then tell them to take it or leave it. Did you ever own a pair of really good boots? Excuse me? Yeah, the kind of boot that fits around your foot like it's always belonged there. Don't look at me. If it doesn't have three-inch heels, I'm not interested. Where are you going? Be right back. I'm gonna go buy a pair. I'm gonna buy some boots. Tom, we're in the middle of something here now. Yeah. You wanna come along? Tom. You're serious, aren't you? Sure. Okay, let's go get them boots, partner. Uh, Warm me lunch? You shouldn't have. Huh. Come on, let's go for a walk. Okay, what's that? Hot dogs for lunch, strolls on the beach. Tom, this is not like you. But it's great, isn't it? Wait a minute, Tom. I can't go down there in my heels. Take them off. Sure. Designer hose, $30 a pair. Why not? Nice, huh? Yeah, Tom, I really have to get back. situation. 
I'm certain that you can also appreciate ours. If you wish to continue as a tenant... Excuse me. How about something to eat? Sure. Phil, you want to go? Thanks. I think I'll pass this time. Uh, the terms I have outlined are the best we can offer in the current rental market. Unfortunately, there's no room for negotiation. That's good. You know, I was thinking this place could use a few plants. Definitely. I'll order some. Cool. Good night, Mr. Bennett. He used to hate plants. Where are we headed? This car. Who cares? Just relax. We'll wander around till we stumble across something. Wandering for an hour. Look, I know you like driving this car, Tom, but uh, I'm starving. Hey, bear with me. I feel like. Ah, Jesus. Now that wasn't wandering, Tom. I, I don't know. I, I just felt like going in this direction. Tom, when you have a heart transplant, it's got to be a shock to your whole system, you know. Did they warn you about anything like, uh, you know, uh, temporary craziness? <laughs> Tom, what is this? This is dinner. Get the hell out of here. You got an immune system that's already stressed out. This is not dinner. Will you look at that. What? The waitress? Somebody I want to talk to. Mister, is there some reason you've been staring at me since you walked in here? Uh, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Look, uh, this is going to come from nowhere, but uh, will you have dinner with me? No. Just dinner, honestly. Sorry, I'm, I'm booked up till Christmas. I'm serious. I think we have something in common. <laughs> Take a chance. Tomorrow night. Uh, or the next night. I know some great, great restaurants. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me for a date. What did you say? What do you mean, what did I say? I said no. Mary Jo, you have got to start dating sometime, and this guy looks like one hell of a way to start. Why does he keep staring at me? Weird. Look, what about Ralph? He'd ask you out in a second if he thought you were available. Well, I'm not available. Honey, Jamie's dead. You aren't. No claims on each other, fine. But I will not be humiliated. Huh? By a waitress in some greasy spoon, Tom? Hey, I go in there for lunch a couple of days a week. That's it. So what's the attraction, the ambiance or the cuisine? Well, uh, both. 
I like the food and I'm comfortable there. I, yeah, I feel good there. Which is strange, considering nobody likes me. Least of all, your waitress, I presume. <sighs> She's not my waitress anymore. Mary Jo refuses to serve me. Which is just the kind of challenge you like. Wrong. As a matter of fact, I keep telling myself this is stupid. What are you doing there? But then, a couple of days later, there I am. Oh, poor baby. All that meatloaf and no love. How about a piece of that uh, cherry pie? No. Look, I am getting sick and tired of you hanging around here all the time. You're not coming here for the food. Yeah, it's really not that bad. And the fact is, the fact is, if you're not coming here for the food, there is nothing here for you. Now, why don't you just go and get in your fancy old car and you go someplace else? Don't you get the message? You're not wanted around here. Come here. It's not that you're not a nice man. It's just that, well, you got to understand. Mary Jo, uh, I want to apologize. I had no idea. Your friend told me. She had no business doing that. Mary Jo, you guys must have been pretty close, huh? Close. We live next door to each other since we were five years old. We always knew we were going to get married. Well, maybe that sounds kind of silly to you. Well, maybe it is silly. But it was the kind of love that makes you hurt. The kind of love that you feel right down into your toes. He promised me. He wanted to wait until he had a good job. And it didn't matter to me at all, but it was important to him. And he did it. I was so proud of him. And he called me up. We set a date. And he was coming right over and we were gonna celebrate. We were gonna have kids. They said he drove off the road. And they took him to the hospital. Even in death, he did good by somebody else. That's the kind of guy that he was. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing that would mean anything to you. Now, please, go away! Wait, wait. What was his name? I want to know his name. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie Adler. <laughs>
Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Of course. Strictly confidential, I understand. I've just been on the phone. Me too. Did you tell McLaughlin that he could set his own price? This is crazy, Tom. There is no way we can agree to it. You know whose heart they put in me? It's a man named Jamie Adler. Very nice guy, I hear. To which of you should I tender my condolences? Good question. Where the hell are you going? I don't know. I'm going for a walk. Look, Tom. If you don't shape up, you're going to lose everything. The house, the job, the car. I got rid of that car. Five cups of coffee, donut. I think he wants to talk to you. Sure, it's patient. I think if we went away for the weekend now, he'd still be here Monday morning waiting. What should I do? Follow your heart. Am I really so terrible? It's nothing to do with you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm sure you're a very nice man. I'm just... I'm not ready for anyone right now. Can I tell you something? Sure. This morning, I got this news. <laughs> it's the kind of news that makes you want to go lie down for Scared. Then I kind of got comfortable with it. You don't have the slightest idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not really. Look, for a long time I was sick. They said it was my heart, but I think maybe it was my life. Half the time I didn't know what I was doing, and the other half I did, but I'm not sure which I'm more ashamed of. And now I've got another chance. What do you want from me? Just a chance, whenever you're ready. I've kicked open a lot of doors in my time, OK? But I'm willing to wait for this one to open by itself. When it. If it does, I'm going to be there, I promise. Well, at least let me buy a piece of pie. Uh, uh, madam, 
Give me a piece of strawberry pie with peach ice cream, please. That's my favorite. How did you know that? Lucky guess. You're a strange one. I warn you, I'm not an easy person at times. Oh, really? Jamie made me a promise, too. He said that he would always be with me. Yeah, I kind of suspected that. Well, he meant it, I'm sure. And, uh, I'll keep my promise. Cross my heart. A philosopher once wrote, the heart has its reasons that reason does not know. Perhaps he was born knowing that truth. Or perhaps, like Mr. Tom Bennett, he discovered it with a little help from the Twilight Zone.